I rise in support of the Family Violence Prevention and Services Improvement Act. Two weeks ago, in my home state of Connecticut, Governor Lamont signed Jennifer's Law, a domestic violence bill that would expand the definition of domestic violence in Connecticut, increase penalties for those convicted of violence, and streamline and improve protections for victims of violence, including family violence. While the passage of this groundbreaking law brings Connecticut to the forefront in the fight for domestic and family violence, the impetus behind the bill is far more sobering. Connecticut, like many states across the country, has suffered through a recent rash of domestic violence cases and struggled to combat a surge in domestic violence during this pandemic. In Connecticut, domestic violence shelters have been at 150% capacity and calls for help have increased by 71%. But I would also like to remind the members of this committee that this problem was evident even before the pandemic. When I was a classroom teacher, I saw students in my class every day who were suffering from the ripple effects of family violence. We also know that interpersonal violence can have multi-generational impacts and tragically cyclical effects. While we need to address the residual trauma of witnessing violence, I also think it's important to note that dating violence can start very early even at the high school level. And statistically, teenagers and young adults face some of the highest rates of interpersonal violence. We need urgent federal intervention now. Congress must modernize and adequately fund FIPSA to stop interpersonal violence from happening in the first place and ensure that survivors, particularly those in underserved communities, get the resources they need. This bill increases overall funding from 175 million to 235 million to ensure that states like Connecticut and others across the country who are struggling to prevent and combat violence have the resources they need. I'm particularly proud of the fact that it also creates new grants for underserved populations. And like Connecticut's new law, the bill expands the definition and scope of domestic violence to ensure that all Americans are protected. I want to again thank my colleague, Ms. McBath, for her steadfast work on this critical issue. And I urge all of my colleagues on this committee to support this legislation. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And with that, I yield back.